Darren Cullen, and uh, my website is uh, Spelling Mistakes Cost Lives. Initially, thought I wanted to go into advertising. Thought it was a good way of coming up with ideas for a living. I guess I was a bit more right wing when I was younger as well. I was fully bought into the idea that if you bought the right amount of things, that was the key to happiness, you know? Keeping my parents happy, which was tied into the making money part. Quite far down the line of studying it, that I started to realise there's a, a essential part of advertising was making people feel miserable about their own lives right now. There's no point of making an advert unless you want to tell a lie. I, I was inspired actually by a McCain's advert. I've been quite angry about domestic adverts for quite a while. There's an implied assumption in domestic adverts. If you don't buy this, you're going to murder your children. Are you a bad parent or are you a good parent? So there's a McCain's oven chip advert. If you want to have a good family life, they give your children McCain's chips and you sit around the table with them. As if the brand of chips had anything to do with that. It really stuck out to me that this thread going through a lot of adverts. Pulling out a kind of little niggling doubt. Like, am I a good parent? Am I, particularly when they're emo emotionally charged us, am I going to accidentally kill my children or not? For advertisers to work on that and try and exploit that, it's just despicable. This is the British Army Zone toy range, HML Force. You never made that? No. Just checking? No, they beat me to it. The, the idea is to bring out authentic action figures that are specific in detail to what the troops use in the force. It's a 100% replica. And this is for ages 5 plus. There's a little kid in here, his mum was saying, he was looking at that, he really wants that. This is part of the recruitment strategy. If you can join the army when you're 15 and or apply to join when you're 15 and 7 months, that's only 10 years down the line from when you first started playing with this toy. So there's a thing in neuromarketing, like the psychology of advertising. The first time you experience a product or a brand, if you have an emotional experience when you first experience something, then it causes a long-term memory to be formed. The army is a brand, just like McDonald's is. Those brands quite focused on making sure that your first experience of that brand is positive. This is all part of it. So then you have this positive me long-term memory that when it comes down the line when you're an adult, even if you don't join the army, you still have a more favourable attitude towards it. So yeah, I think it's a really sinister way of going about it.